Hello, I'm Dr. Sujit Shanshanwal. I'm a consultant dermatotrichologist and medical director at Skinama Clinic. So today I want to talk about the issues that patients commonly present to me with, which is that the hairline is going back. So today I want to discuss about what are the various common causes that are resulting in that and what options do we have regarding it. So one of the most common causes is maturation of hairline. So if you would have noticed, kids in school tend to have their hairline quite further ahead. But as they go through their teenage years, nearing their adulthood, the hairline slightly recedes back and reaches the point which is the normal point of hairline of maturation. So that is something that is part of the growing process and nothing to be worried about. The other common cause is androgenetic alopecia or male pattern baldness. I have already made a video before explaining why the thinning happens in male pattern hair loss and I will also post the link in the description below. So in male pattern baldness, just to brief you, tell you about it, there is thinning of each hair which leads to permanent damage of the hair and the root is permanently destroyed and because of that, the hairline keeps receding and going back. Now for some patients where the damage is in the earlier stages, their concern is that doctor, can we do something to stop further damage? So in that case, we do have medicines which can stop further damage and prevent the hairline from growing, going any further back. However, some patients in whom the damage has been more advanced, they seek an option about what can be done to bring the hairline ahead. So now, as I was explaining earlier, the roots get permanently destroyed. So for that, medicines will not work because there are no alive roots left for the medicines to have an effect. So in these cases, we need to implant new roots, which is the process of hair transplantation. So we need to inject and impart in place new roots, which will grow into fresh hair. The third common cause is traction alopecia. Now traction alopecia, as the name suggests, is a condition in which there is pulling on the hair which leads to permanent damage of the root over a long time. So quite often, sometimes there are girls who have a habit of tying a tight pony by pulling the hair completely back. They tend to notice a bit of pulling back of the hairline over time. Also, in patients who part their hair at a certain point because of constant traction and maximum force at the point of parting, there they see that the hairline is further back, pulled back at that particular point. And there is also decreased volume along that point because the constant chronic force that was happening on that area has led to damage to some of the roots. Now, it is quite simple to prevent further damage by preventing that force which is being put into the roots in that area. So you need to tie your hair loose, you can change your side of partition to avoid further damage in the affected area. However, if you want to get back the volume that is lost because the roots are dead because of the chronic damage by the force, we need to put new roots. So again, to correct the damage that is done by traction alopecia, hair transplantation will be needed to put fresh roots and compensate for that damage. So these are the three most common causes why the hairline goes back and what can be done about it. I hope this video was informational and you got to learn something new today. Thank you.